Hello everyone, YouTube is Alex here, and I've got another PC video for you guys, and yes, that is my slightly dirty Dell Latitude E6410. Now, I'm going to cut to the chase here, and let's just say I've been spending more money on this thing than it's arguably worth at this point, and I've been testing some more CPUs. Also, specifically speaking, just another model up. As I did a video a little while ago, talking about the, what was it, the i7-720QM, a quad-core, uh, eight hyper-threaded i7, uh, that's not technically, you know, meant to work. I mean, that's what Dell say uh, says anyway. Uh, that it's not, it's not a supported CPU and everything. There have been there have been plenty of rumors online, and even one confirmed uh, report uh, that said CPU works. And I jumped on the bandwagon, and well and behold, it works. So I made my own confirmation video on said uh, CPU. But I decided to look a little deeper and see, you know, what's the highest CPU that this machine could in theory support. And to put a very long story short, is as long as you stay away from extreme edition processors, because there's various reasons for that, uh, although to put it very simply, it's because the damn things have like a 55 watt TDP and heat and power and everything else would just be ill-advised. So I was just looking around at, you know, what's the high, like going up from the 720, uh, how high could you go? And I actually had a look, and you can get up to the 840QM. At least that's the highest I saw uh, before going to Extreme Editions. Now, the difference between the 720QM uh, and the 840QM are kind of marginal. There's a clock speed increase, a bit you know, more cache, and a few other bits and bobs, but nothing, you know, major, I would say. And let's, speaking of the 840, that's pretty much what I'm here to confirm. The E6410, which... Uh, as you can see, I am not lying, that is a Latitude E6410, can work and does work fine uh, with the 840QM, which if I turn the thing on again, I can actually show you. I've already been doing some tests. I apologize for like the very obvious um, camera glare and everything, uh, but that is purely... If I just type in my password a second. It's because it's quite dark in my room as I'm recording this quite late at night, and, you know, I just happen to have or be doing it now. So... Let's um, assume the computer focuses. There we go. So I'm not lying. Let me find the corresponding utility. There we go. As you can see, i7. It, it, I mean, Task Manager calls it the Q840. Uh, and but uh, let me see. CPU Z gives you a bit more of an accurate description. I, like I said, I'm not lying. This thing does work. And yes, once again, it is an E6410. So. Uh, as long as you got one of the uh, one of these machines with the dedicated Nvidia graphics, because like the 720QM, uh, this CPU does not have any uh, Intel HD graphics. And speaking of which, I do have that's the old that's the old CPU there, which you probably can't particularly see, but whatever. You get my point. But as long as you have the Nvidia graphics, you should be good to go, pretty much. And as you can see, I do, as you can see. But yeah. What else do I need to say? The CPU does work fine. Um, temperatures and performance over the 720, I may as well just briefly mention, well, performance, it is a little better, true, but it's nothing sort of like, OMG, this is amazing. And I suppose if you were like me and you had a 720QM, going for the 840 probably isn't all that, you know, worth it for a performance standpoint. Uh, for bragging rights, because now I have, uh, have it in this machine, then yes, it is certainly an advantage. And I suppose the clock speed increase is certainly nice. Although, speaking of clock speed, this mach this particular machine is very um, weird, to put it simply, because the only way I can get the, the CPUs, the 720 and the 840, to, to run properly uh, is to, to disable speed step, because for some reason otherwise the CPU will have itself clocked down to some ridiculously low level and never go above that. I mean, you can see the multiplier is now stuck at 14, which is uh, 1.86. 1.876 gigahertz somewhere in there, um, and that's pretty much what it stays at. Um, I, I have not really noticed this thing doing any turboing, but I think speed step and turbo boost need to be enabled both for it to really do anything. And right now, I have speed step disabled and turbo on, but whatever. The performance is still there. If I actually show you some Cinebench results here, um, you can see if you can avoid the lens glare. The 720QM is the second from the bottom there, which is what I tested uh, this machine beforehand. So, um, And the highest score I ever got was 290, and the one I did a few minutes ago was 284. So, yes, there is definitely a, a slight performance increase, but it's not going to, like, like I said, be OMG insane. But um, 
I think the only thing I should mention as well, apart from... Uh, oh, yeah, temperatures. Um, mine actually is not particularly over overly hot running. I don't know why. I mean, the thermal compound I'm using is, like, this stuff here. It's just some Arctic stuff, uh, MX2. It's nothing crazy. Uh, and I just make sure the fan is very, um, you know, very clean and everything. So, uh, but temperatures, I only seem to get up, like, on the CPU under a stress test environment. I only get up sort of... I don't know, low 80s in degrees, 82, 83, give or take. I mean, the GPU still hits pretty high, you know, mid 80s, occasionally 90 if you're stressing both of them out. Uh, but it's never, the you know, temperatures for these CPUs have never been a massive problem. Um, in the description, I'm actually going to link uh, a forum thread, uh, which I was I read through in depth, pretty much, you know, it was, the, if I can even English, I was looking through that, uh, which gave me the idea to put the 840 in, and just just so you have some like I don't know second opinion from other people's experiences. But uh, as my E6410 is sitting here right in front of you, uh, it will work. And I suspect also the 740 and the 820 QM. So in other words, the in between processors between the 720 and the 840, I'm 90% certain will work as well. Just as long as you've got the machine with the Nvidia graphics, you should be all fine to go. Uh, I think I'm on A16 version of the BIOS, uh, which is the latest, I think, if anyone questions me on that. Uh, and I suppose also, what keeps, I suppose another thing I, I've done to the PC to keep temperatures down a little bit. Um, there's a little bit of mesh over the um, fan grill underneath here. Uh, that has been removed. Um, I know that might increase dust, you know, build up over time, but it's never really bothered me. Uh, so, yeah. There you go. I'll shut up now because that's I've pretty much said all I need to all I really need to say. If you have any more questions and queries about my machine or any other the proce uh, processes involved in getting this to work, then uh, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, if you want a detailed how to replace the CPU in this machine installation thing, there are quite a few online, but it's it's really not difficult. Um, but yeah, there you go. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.